For years now, hospitals have seen an increase in something that's popularly being called scrometing. That word comes from two different words, screaming and vomiting, and it's as awful as it sounds. But scrometing refers to a specific type of vomiting syndrome. Um, it's cannabinoid hyperemesis vomiting syndrome, and it's usually cyclic. And it is what it says. It is screaming, uncontrollable, unrelenting, severe vomiting that leads to severe dehydration and often emergency room visits, which there's been a huge increase of since the legalization of mar marijuana in many states. So this isn't one time or infrequent users. It's people that use THC daily. And I know THC helps with nausea, but this is something called a paradoxical effect. And the more you use it, sometimes it can flip into this. Now, there is hope for people who get this. While it's awful for a period of time, and if you get it, you definitely need to go to the ER and be treated, um, it will resolve itself almost always after days or weeks or sometimes months of no THC use. Now, the condition is rare, uh, but we have been seeing a lot of increases in recent years, especially I first saw them reported in Colorado when marijuana went legal there. That's where we saw the alarm saying, hey, we're seeing more of this. If you are a cannabinoid user, my advice to you is to bring that percentage of THC down. If you are someone that is consistently in the 70, 80, 90% of THC, you might want to look at doing a homegrown strain and step yourself down to a lower THC percentage. It's that slow and low that applies for your whole life. If you're up in the 90s all of the time, try stepping it down to prevent this 